Ông cô cho. Please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is in back in session. Reprise de l'audience. And uh, I now hand over the floor Je to the defense counsel for Mr. Nunjie to put your further questions. You may not Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Mr. Witness, I would like to discuss a, another topic with you, um, if that's all right with you. And more specifically, I would like to take you to uh, your statement D4023, English page 5 in the middle, uh, English ERN 00223211, French 00490909, Khmer 00165354. Now, you've been asked a very specific question by the investigators. And the question is as follows. Did you ever see them kill prisoners while you were working at the Krang Tachan office? Answer. I never saw it. Do you remember whether that was in fact your answer to the investigators? Answer, yes. Réponse, oui. In other words, you never saw with en your own terme, eyes somebody die in front of you. That's another way of phrasing it, but is that correct? Answer, yes. Oui. Witnesses uh, Mia Soka and Sai Sen have also given testimony earlier last month uh, to this chamber and both of them have given, have given quite graphic uh, testimony as to the killings that they said wit they witnessed at Krang Tachan. Would you be able to give some explanation as to why you never saw anything and they saw all kinds of killings happening at Krang Tachan. Please hold on, Mr. Witness. Deputy International Court Prosecutor, you now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I will speak French. I would like to object to this question given that he is asking the witness to speculate. One thing is asking the witness what he saw, but asking why the others might have seen but not him, that is speculation. The reasons for which the others might have seen but not him, that is speculation. He is asking the witness to speculate about why the others may have seen the execution. So I think that this question should be reformulated. Thank you. Although I think this prosecutor is maybe the last person in this room who should say something about speculation. Um, nevertheless, I think it is an appropriate question. Uh, I, I'm trying to reconcile uh, two, um, two possibilities, uh, two witnesses saying testifying before this chamber that they saw all kinds of uh, gruesome atrocities and this witness says again I never saw anything um, and um, apparently all of them were there and I think asking without asking to speculate if he would know there's a reason why he didn't see anything and they did is, is, is within the realm of of um, what is possible. possible.
Firstly, the chamber doesn't appreciate the insult to the prosecutor and suggests you stop that. Secondly, uh, the objection is um, rejected, the question is allowed. Uh, Mr. Witness, would you be able to give an explanation as to why Mia Soka and Sai Sen were able uh, to witness gruesome executions at the compound of Grand Kachan, and you didn't see any killing? Rien vu de cela. But answer. Réponse. Because there were two levels of fences, and there were also uh, a lot of bananas, so I could not see, uh, since I was uh, guarding Donc, outside. Comme j'étais à l'extérieur, je ne pouvais pas voir. But to follow up on this, it is also the testimony of Mia Soka and Sai Sen that they left the compound uh, during the day to tend the cows and the buffaloes. Um, so it seems that they were also uh, outside the inner perimeter. So my question again is how do you know, is it possible that they saw all kinds of things and you didn't see anything? But please hold on, Mr. Witness. You may not proceed, Deputy International Co-Prosecutor. La défense essaye de suggérer que suggesting à la fois Miss Soka et Sai Sen n'auraient fait que garder des buffles ou des vaches. C'est une mauvaise représentation de ce qui a été dit. Sai Sen a été clair sur son rôle. Il a expliqué qu'il avait de multiples rôles à jouer, qu'il se déplaçait à l'intérieur de l'enceinte et pas seulement à l'extérieur. Donc je crois que cette question est mal formulée et ainsi le témoin à l'erreur. Uh, and uh, leads uh, uh, the uh, witness uh, into error. Let me rephrase. Mr. Witness, um, you were guarding outside. Where did you sleep when you were done guarding? Answer. I uh, was sleeping uh, close to the fence. Je dormais près de la clôture. So you, you're, not, you're saying you didn't oui. actually sleep within the inner compound? Is, is that your testimony? De est -ce exact? Bah. Answer, Réponse. yes. Oui. Maître Coppel. What about Duik? Uh, he was often within the inner compound, typing. Did he sleep also inside or did he sleep outside? Answer. There were two ducks. Which uh, one uh, you were asking? I'm asking about your, un, your, member, uh, your unit member, Doig the typist, was he sleeping uh, outside as well? Answer. Answer. Yes. 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 We slept in the same, uh, in different rooms, uh, close to the fence. Uh, let me, let me, I'll revisit this uh, topic, but I'll start asking you uh, some other questions now. Uh, the same Sai Sen that we just spoke about uh, gave testimony a few weeks ago 
a déposé uh, to this chamber. devant la chambre il y a quelques semaines. And his testimony was Dans sa déposition, um, il affirme very, very bad about the behavior of your unit of six. Très mauvais comportement um, de votre unité de six personnes. He gave testimony to the effect that uh, Dans sa déposition, il dit four or five cadres within your unit que were in fact ou cinq gardes um, de had in fact participated in rape of a female prisoner. Au viol Do you know anything about that? Savez-vous quoi que ce soit à ce sujet? But Réponse. Answer, that is not true. C'est faux. So the members of your unit never raped Maître any Coco. female prisoner? Donc, Is that your testimony? Donc les membres de votre unité n'ont jamais violé de prisonnière. Est-ce que vous est-ce que c'est cela que vous affirmez? Bah. Answer: No, they Pense. never. Non, jamais. Just to be sure, Mr. Witness, let me read Coco, a passage Monsieur from Saisen's testimony before this chamber. Un passage de la déposition de Saisen. Um, Mr. President, it's E1257. It's um, 5 February 2015 at 10.38 in the morning. Um, my question uh, to Saisen is as follows, and I read that to you now, Mr. Witness. Mr. Saisen, I say I would like some details on what you told us yesterday. You said that a soldier or a security guard had raped two women from the mobile unit and had inserted the rifle in their vaginas. Can you tell us the name of those soldiers? Saisen answers, yes, it was Duik Tuch or Small Duik and Sain. There were two of them. My question, Ma question, what is your reaction on this testimony of Sai Sen um, about the behavior of two of your unit Sai members? De is this testimony true or false? Answer, that is not true. Now again, Mr. Witness, my question would be, a bit similar to the earlier question about the killings. Do you have any idea, if it's not true, why Sai Sen would give such testimony about your unit members? Savez-vous pourquoi Sai Sen a fait une telle déposition qui est fausse sur les membres de votre unité? But answer. Réponse. There were killings, but as for rape, I don't think there were rapes uh, happened je ne there. Pense pas y eu un viol. Are you now saying I don't think? Um, Vous dites, just to be sure, je ne pense pas. are you aware or do you have knowledge about an act of rape je vous demande à committed vous, by members of your fellow, fellow members of your unit? Yes or no? Qui aurait été commis par l'un des membres de votre unité, oui ou non Answer. Réponse. Uh, that statement is not true. Ce que vous dites est faux. In other words, you're saying Sai Sen has been lying Maître before Coco. this chamber. Is that, is terme, that your answer? En d'autres termes, vous dites que a menti à la chambre. Est-ce cela que vous affirmez bah. Answer, yes. Réponse, oui. Um, but that wasn't the only thing that Sai Sen uh, said about your unit. He said some other things as well. And on the exact same page, uh, Mr. President, of that transcript of the same day, question to Sai Sen, my question. Yesterday, you also talked about the massacre of two young girls. You said that the elder girl had her skull smashed against the tree. And or the younger one had her skull smashed, and the other one had her neck broken. Can you tell us the name of the guard who did that? That was my question. Sai so Sen answers, yes, they were Sim, Moon, Sain, Duik Tuch, or Small Duch. So again, 
Mr. Witness, it seems Amigo that Sai Sen is giving testimony, accusing fellow members of your unit of killing children. What is your reaction to that? Ici tué des enfants. Quelle est votre réaction? Answer. I was Réponse. guarding outside. I Je la garde à did not know. Je ne savais pas. And there were no rapes. Et il n'y a pas eu de viol. Uh, if there were rapes, uh, I uh, would know about that. Or si perhaps uh, I was eu, away and rapes uh, happened que there. Que and et que I did not know lieu, about uh, the statement that he made. Je ne sais rien de ce a uh, to be clear, Mr. Witness, I didn't speak about Maître rape Coupe, this time. I spoke about uh, the killing of Ici, two small children. Did members of your unit, que des de votre uh, were they involved in the killing of small children as just described by me in the answer of Sai Did they, in fact, kill children? Est-ce que des membres de votre unité ont effectivement tué des enfants? Bah. Answer. I do not know. Je ne sais pas. You have been with your unit members for several years. Vous étiez depuis plusieurs années um, avec les membres were de you votre unité. friends with your unit members? Étiez-vous amis avec les membres de votre unité? Answer. Réponse. We were together. And uh, we were not friends. Nous étions ensemble et nous n'étions pas amis. And sometimes we did not get along with each other. Parfois, nous ne nous entendions pas bien les uns avec les autres. My question again would be: question, Do you have an explanation as to why Sai Sen is saying this, these things about uh, your unit members, and that you are saying that you don't know anything about killing of children? Que vous dites que vous ne savez rien des meurtres de ses enfants. Answer. Réponse. The reason that I said I do not know, Soi Sain was the prisoner. He was detained in the prison. Il était donc détenu dans la prison. And if he knew about this incident, uh, I did not know how did he know that I was si uh, getting outside and I did cela, not know. Moi, je ne que lui le savait. Je la uh, garde earlier, à you gave an answer um, to the chamber about vous avez dit à la chambre un peu plus tôt the possibility that cadres possible or the allegation that cadres were eating the livers and the gallbladders of uh, dead prisoners. Vous avez dit y avait des uh, aux you said that you had never heard ab about that, that you didn't know about that. Les Again, les would you be able to give us some explanation as to why he is giving that testimony and that you have no idea about or no knowledge Et, et dit about gallbladders and livers being taken from bodies of dead prisoners. Answer. Réponse. Concerning uh, the fact that uh, they were they were eating liver or gallbladders, I do not know about that. Je ne sais rien de cela, à savoir que les gens mangeaient des vésicules biliaires. Uh, Mr. Fois. President, with your leave, I would like to show the witness a small excerpt from a video. Un bref extrait um, d'une vidéo. Video that I, a video uh, with ERN number, or sorry, with E3 number that I mentioned in an earlier email Avec to uh, the uh, senior legal officer. It's two minutes from E3 slash 3116R. It is between minutes 22.20 and 24.11. Monsieur le Président. Mr. President, 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 
Deputy International Co Prosecutor, you may proceed. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Nous avons Thank regardé you, Mr. cette President. vidéo, uh, we cet extrait uh, this excerpt. aux heures qui ont été indiquées. Euh, cela a trait uh, effectivement aux foies, aux vésicules biliaires qui pouvaient être extraites. Mais étant donné que le témoin a dit qu'il ne savait rien sur ce sujet, je ne sais pas he knows si about this, la défense pourrait nous I expliquer don't know en quoi cela pourrait avoir un intérêt. This could be of any interest to us, or if the defense could tell us why the, this could be of interest to us, because the witness did not say anything, did not speak about it. Um, correct, but I thought maybe. Um, let me let me rephrase. This is such a. It is to me incredibly graphic um, footage, and it is um, such a. Um, such an important thing of an important element, element of Saisen's testimony. So uh, my intention is to show this footage to uh, the witness and then ask him whether uh, images like this, similar like this, uh, would refresh his memory in relation to uh, gallbladders and livers being taken from dead bodies. À ce qui a été allégué, à savoir que des foies et des vésicules biliaires étaient prélevés sur les cadavres. President, you may proceed, Judge Fentz. The Chamber rejects the, um, the request to show the video to this witness at this time. Um, given what the witness has said so far, the relevance hasn't been demonstrated by the defense, just defense because this is graphic evidence isn't in itself good enough. But there might be a time later in the proceedings when it comes to pointing out relevant documents or pieces of evidence to show it, but it hasn't been demonstrated why it would be relevant at this point in time with this witness. Then my subsidiary alternative request would be not to ask that particular question that I just formulated, but then um, whether he saw or has any knowledge of similar practices while he was fighting within the civil war, uh, fighting law uh, troops, whether he has any knowledge of this. So then my question would go back uh, to the period before 1975. Um, the reason I'm, I have particular interest in showing this footage is um, not only on a general principle that I think um, uh, the public is entitled to, um, to graphic footage sometimes that we see, uh, I also know that uh, very recently, only two, two weeks ago, um, uh, the ambassador, uh, ambassador, ambassador Schaeffer used, Schaeffer in fact, the evidence of uh, Saisen as to the taking out of livers and gallbladders as an example of atrocities that took place in Grand Kachan. Um, and I would like to establish whether that was in fact something done by CPK cadres or Khmer Rouge cadres or whether it was in fact a practice 
um, ou si c'était une pratique uh, long established before that and particularly date, bien auparavant uh, et engaged in by uh, lone null troops qui était pratiqué par les troupes de lone null Judge Fenn, you may proceed. The additional arguments uh, by the defense haven't convinced the chamber. The ruling stands. Very well. Um, Mr. Witness, I would like to turn now to uh, another topic. Um, and I would like to draw your attention to Je something that you said before the co-investigators. Uh, page 4 of the English page version, version that is uh, English ERN 00223 slash, sorry, 00223210, French 00409090. And Khmer 00165354. The question all uh, at the bottom of the page is um, when they beat and, and interrogated, what tools did they use? And you answer they beat with clubs and rattan whips. Before I worked in that office, I heard them say that they had hung them on ropes tied around their necks. Mr. Witness, this passage has been read to you earlier by uh, the international co-prosecutor, but there's something more in your answer, and that is the following. I learned about this matter clearly from my aunt, who had been held there, and from two of my uncles as well. But it was my aunt who told me about hanging from the neck, and I know there are marks still of her neck today. Now, in the light of this answer, did you, in fact, see with your own eyes what happened during interrogation of prisoners? Answer. I did not witness this. I uh, was guarding outside. I understand your answer, but did you at no time, while you were stationed at Grand Chan, enter the inner compound during the day and brought yourself in a position that you would be able to watch interrogations? But Answer. During the Réponse. interrogation, I was asked to go outside the perimeter or the compound. Let me rephrase. Is it your testimony that in all those years, those three years, or two years, or three years that you were at Grand Tachan, you never, you were never able to watch? interrogation in the interrogation room. Is that correct? Yes. Did you ever speak to any of your unit members about interrogations? No, because it was not uh, our duty, Réponse, and I did not speak to any of them about it. Mia Soka, the person I mentioned Question. earlier, not only gave testimony about executions, 
on at Krangtachan, but also about uh, incidents of torture. Would you be able to give an explanation as to why he was able to see torture going on when you were? I like to reinstate that I was never allowed to rub inside the compound. Only the party members were allowed to rub in. And usually, when they engage in such a process, we were ordered to stay at the outer part of the compound. Your testimony is that only party members were allowed in. Donc seuls quelques membres étaient autorisés à Could rentrer dans l'enceinte, c'est bien ce que vous nous dites. Then tell us how Mia Soka and Sai Sen were able to watch interrogations. Ont été en mesure d'assister à des interrogatoires. I did not know uh, what, how they would be able in a position to do that. I would like to talk some more about the compound Question. of uh, Kang Tachan. Your fellow unit member, uh, Duik, testified, uh, I think only last week, before the chamber, and he said chambre. that there were no loudspeakers at the compound. You just said earlier uh, at the end of this uh, morning that there were in fact loudspeakers. Who is right? He or you? There was a small response. Uh, amplifier or small uh, loudspeaker of the size that I just indicated. Uh, it's not uh, that big. Taille, uh, and with the two uh, re removable speakers on both sides. Parleur, uh, and amovible. the main function of uh, that thing was a uh, radio. Un peu comme une radio. What do you mean with radio? Question. À quoi servait cette radio? Sorry. I speak about this uh, player, which is uh, small in size and with two detachable speakers on uh, both sides. What was the main function of the speakers and the radio to listen to Radio Kampuchea? Is that what you're saying? Question: Est-ce que cette, ce dispositif vous permettait d'écouter la radio du Cambodge démocratique? Yes, we use it to uh, oui. listen to a radio broadcast. That is domestic radio broadcast. Pour écouter les messages radio diffusés au niveau national. And was that the only purpose of these loudspeakers? Question: Était-ce là la seule utilisation que l'on pouvait faire de ce matériel? As I said, there were no loudspeakers. There were indeed only these two small speakers detachable from this uh, radio machine. Écouteurs que l'on qui étaient amovibles. On pouvait donc détacher, les séparer. Would your hands be able to describe uh, the size of these loudspeakers? Can you show us with your hands what was the size of this device? That is the size of the uh, play itself, and then. To the size, uh, there were two uh, small detachable speakers. Do you remember anything about the volume? To go by the Question. one. President, Council, uh, please uh, uh, wait. And Judge Fens, do you have the floor? This doesn't work for the transcript. Um, 
So perhaps the transcript doesn't show what you demonstrated. Can you give us measurements, if you remember, of the size of the loudspeakers? The player itself is about 40 centimeter wide. And as for the two detachable speakers, it is about 10 centimeter wide each. It's a long time ago, I realized, Mr. Witness, but would you be able to tell how far the volume of these two little speakers would reach how many meters you had to stand uh, in relation to these speakers to be, st to be able to still hear the sound coming from these speakers. You could hear uh, the sound from the loudspeakers if you uh, stood about 15 meters away. Uh, and when you were, let's say, 20 meters, 30 meters away, you wouldn't be able to hear the speakers anymore? Is that what you're saying? Yes. The reason I'm asking, Mr. Witness, is that uh, Sai Sen gave testimony to the chamber saying that uh, the loudspeakers were used in order for the prisoners not to hear the screams of executions. In other words, that the volume was so loud that prisoners were not able to hear what was going on either in the interrogation room or behind it. What is your reaction to the testimony? I could not say anything to what uh, this person uh, spoke of or spoke about, because as I told you, they did not use any uh, loudspeakers. Uh, thank you, Mr. Witness. Uh, Mr. President, I would like to go to another topic, but I see it's 20 minutes before 4. President, uh, thank you, Defense Council. And uh, thank you, Mr. Wan Soon. Merci, Monsieur Wan Soon. The hearing of your uh, testimony is now postponed, and it Votre is not yet concluded, just to confirm, and you will be invited again to come to this court tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. So you can now uh, go and rest. And court officer, please uh, make an arrangement with Wisu for the necessary uh, transportation of this witness to his residence and uh, invite him to return to this courtroom tomorrow morning before 9 o'clock. Likewise, uh, Mr. Momsuti, the duty counsel, you are invited to uh, return tomorrow morning to attend to the proceedings of hearing the remainder of the testimony of this witness. And you two may be excused. We now turn to the issue of the request by Nunchi Defense, which was submitted to the trial chamber. And the request has not yet been translated into Khmer language. However, 
uh, the defense counsel made it clear that yeah, they the want to adjourn the there? hearings after the conclusion of the testimony of this witness because the issue is related closely to the documents submitted by the prosecution. Those documents are derived from case 004. And in order to form the basis as foundation for our decision, and due to the urgency of this matter, the chamber now would like to hear only the oral argument by the defense counsel for the hearing of the upcoming testimonies of witnesses through TCW 803 and through TCW 809. As for the remaining relevant witnesses, the chamber will not hear your oral arguments now. And for that reason, Nunchi's defense is given the floor uh, to provide your oral arguments on these two uh, witnesses, and you have uh, 10 minutes to do so. And uh, the combined time for the prosecution and the litigation lawyers is uh, 10 minutes in order to uh, make a response to the oral arguments by the Nunchi's defense. And, Councillor Coupe, you have the floor now. Um, thank you, Mr. President. Um, it's, it's not easy to um, only surgically focus on the next witness because, of, as you understand or you might appreciate, everything is tied together. Um, but saying it in one or two sentences, um, we feel that because of the magnitude of uh, new evidence coming in, um, it's no longer uh, responsible to continue with crime sites that are located in the southwest zone or the northwest zone. Uh, why that is, uh, I will not go into now. I would like to refer to uh, the uh, draft motion that we sent to you earlier this morning by email. Um, if I bring it back to the very urgent question as what to do with um, the upcoming witness, um, it is our position, like I said, that we should stop altogether. However, um, we have no interest at all in slowing down the proceedings. That is not our intention. So that's why we formulated uh, an alternative, um, and that is uh, that we, in principle, could continue with uh, witnesses who give testimony or are able to give testimony about things that happened uh, at Krang uh, There are some other uh, guards, I think, still scheduled. Uh, we wouldn't also have problems with if there are any witnesses who can testify as to what happened on the ground. Uh, grassroots, as you will. Um, we have had witnesses uh, earlier. However, the moment we start speaking about tomorrow's witness uh, or the witness that follows, we are entering into um, the structure uh, not only within District 105, but also um, Sector 13 and other sectors, and ultimately the Southwest Zone. So. Uh, just to give you some, some, some figures, um, in the disclosed statements, which are about uh, almost 3,000 pages, uh, we did a word search on uh, a few things just to give you an idea. Um, in the binders that were given to us in the new statements of case 3 and 4, the word sector 13 is mentioned 69 times. District 105 is mentioned um, 8 times. Office 204 is mentioned 35 times. Trump Cock is mentioned 212 times. Case 4 is in essence about uh, events that unfolded uh, in the southwest zone in general, but also in District 105 and um, Sector 13 uh, of that zone. Just to, uh, to elaborate a bit on that, if you 
I'm not quite sure how to uh, how to uh, approach this, but if you have a look, choses, uh, Mr. President, at si uh, one of the statements de, that tomorrow's potential witness gave to the investigators, that is um, D119-82 on page 10. Uh, he is extensively being confronted with testimony uh, of a person that, uh, well, was indicted in absentia yesterday. Um, and whatever she is uh, saying or will be saying uh, in that case, whatever other witnesses have said about her in that case are all extremely relevant, I think, for our case. Tomorrow's witness is about um, structure, uh, about uh, lines of communication between the districts, uh, the sectors, and ultimately the zone. So um, I think, and I'm not even talking about the practical impossibility of dealing with so much new evidence, I think we should step away uh, as soon as we can from uh, Krang Ta Chan, uh, not go into any crime sites in the northwest zone, but move away to safer areas, safer grounds. And uh, the suggested 1st January dam, I think as the next segment would be um, uh, a plausible alternative. And because we do not want to uh, delay the proceedings, we are we have given an alternative, and that is to continue with guards uh, or potentially other prisoners within Krang Ta Chan. Um, and by offering this solution, I think um, no irreparable damage uh, will be done. Uh, but I think it is important that we realize the magnitude of what's happening. Uh, and that's why I would really um, seek a possibility to discuss this issue at length and, and not uh, now be forced to micro or to zoom in only as to the next witness. I understand the request, but I think uh, we have reached such a fundamental issue. It is a, such a fundamental debate what we should do with case three and four entering uh, case two that we should have, and I think that's one of the points of relief, should have should schedule a trial management meeting as soon as possible uh, to discuss how we should proceed further. But for uh, tomorrow, I really think uh, we should not be hearing uh, the witness. And also, the other one uh, mentioned, he is also somebody on uh, district level who has been asked all kinds of questions about sectors and about uh, events that, that happened within the zone. And that is the topic that has been, um, that these are the topics that are being investigated, maybe right now still, uh, by the international uh, co-investigating judge. So, again, zooming in only about, uh, on tomorrow's witness, I think he should not be called. I think we should uh, turn to an alternative, uh, and that could be any of the, I think, two or even three remaining uh, Krang Ta Chan uh, cadres or guards. Thank you, and Council Councilman, you have the floor. Councilman, thank you, Mr. President. I have two observations to uh, make at this stage. First, on the issue of uh, having a discussion on this issue that has been set up by you, Mr. President, uh, on the urgency matter uh, of dit, this Monsieur issue. However, the Chamber shall also consider that our group works based on the French language and the documents that are, have been included in the case file uh, mostly in English. For that reason, I'd like to urge the Chamber to consider that we should have sufficient time to discuss on a particular issue, or at least that we should be afforded the French version of translation of those uh, Khmer 
or English uh, documents so that it, it can facilitate our working process or review of those uh, documents. And now on the second point, we do face uh, a number of difficulties. At lunchtime, for instance, today, we only received through additional uh, binders from the co-prosecutors, which had just been uh, translated. The documents that we have received so far made us difficult in uh, understanding as they had to be translated into the French language. Nous avons du mal à comprendre ces documents qui devraient être traduits en français. And for that reason, the issue of language translation is uh, one of the fundamental issues Le de la concerning the documents they uh, take from other cases in MB3 and 4 and place them into the current case. And also, we don't have a full access to the document president uh, interrupt. The uh, council just reminded that, that we only have 20 minutes to engage in this discussion, and mainly that is your, the oral arguments from your team concerning the upcoming witnesses to TCW 803 and 809. In fact, the true witnesses have been scheduled quite a long time ago, and only recently we received your submission to adjust the hearings of these to witnesses. It is not easy for the chamber to reschedule the hearing, as we have to face other possibilities of delaying or criticisms by the general public, for instance. We do not want to postpone the hearing again and again. And now, we just try to get this time for you to discuss on the documents placed into this case file by the, uh, one of the parties. And as, as, uh, as I told you, the documents uh, filed into this case exist mainly only in English. There are not uh, my translation yet of those uh, documents. And you should provide your arguments on that so that we, the Chamber, may use it as a foundation whether we decide to adjourn the hearing of these two witnesses or not. And of course, you have been given time to submit, uh, to make a written submission to the Chamber. And we set this time today because the two upcoming witnesses are scheduled for tomorrow afternoon. Council Consum on, yes, uh, you are right, Mr. President. I am now uh, right on the points because the documents included in the case file are relevant to Kantachan's office. And if cadres from Kranta Chan office are to testify, and if we don't have the opportunity to review those documents, that is the kind of difficulty that I am raising, Mr. President, because mainly the documents that we received, and the latest one, I mean, were only given to us at lunchtime today. And that is one of the reasons or arguments that we urge the Chamber to adjourn the hearing and to provide a sufficient time to review those documents. The documents exist in thousands of pages, and we need an appropriate time to do so. Thank you, Mr. President. President, thank you. Judge Lavent, you have the floor now. Oui, Monsieur le Président, je vais être très court. Yes, je Mr. demanderai à la Défense de m'interrompre si, si ce que And je dis est inexact. Mais il me semble que si on se concentre sur les I'm témoins 803 et 809, les déclarations les concernant qui proviennent des dossiers 3 et 4, we are ont été mises à leur disposition le 16 octobre l'année dernière. Après avoir été refusées, elles ont été acceptées par After la Défense de Nunchia le 4 novembre et que sur la Défense de Kiosampan, elle a accepté le 22 décembre. Par ailleurs, sauf erreur de ma part, il me semble que la Défense de Nunchia 
it appears indiqué that à euh, defense, une audience, il me semble que c'était euh, un peu plus tôt au mois de février, qu'ils avaient eu l'occasion ou la possibilité de lire tous les documents qui leur avaient été communiqués à cette date à l'audience du 23 février 2015. Um, I, I don't think, with all respect, uh, Judge Levin, that you are correct. We, we received, and I'm sure the prosecution can confirm, um, even this morning, um, new statements. We received um, five, six binders uh, last Thursday. As a matter of fact, the, the, the trial proceedings were postponed for two and a half days uh, in order for us to, to, to be able to read those new statements. So it's not evidence that I'm talking about that we received in October, and of course we wouldn't have any point, but it is um, literally uh, all, uh, almost 3,000 pages that we've received in the last two weeks. Uh, and um, we were not able to read all, that is impossible, but what we've seen is that it goes directly uh, to the heart of uh, events that happened in the southwest zone in general and also structure, etc., in relation to what we are discussing. So it's not uh, something that we knew already for some time, it's something that just came up uh, only within the last week. President, thank you, and the Deputy International Co-Prosecutor, do you have the floor? Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I'll try to be as brief as I can. Uh, I do agree that um, there should be more discussion of the broader issues later, but let me focus on the two witnesses, and particularly the witness who's scheduled for tomorrow. I note uh, for the record that um, 809, um, to C TCW 809 had originally been scheduled to follow, but has now been postponed until um, almost the end of this month. So I think the issues with respect to 809 are, are not as, as pressing. Um, there has been no showing at all by the defense of a reason to postpone the testimony of this witness. It is not sufficient to come in here and, and say that there are a large number of, of new statements. In fact, uh, of the new statements, that there was a group of 20 and a group of 90 that were disclosed last week, the week before. There are only 10 of those interviews that relate to Tram Kok and Krang to Chan. I've been through them word by word. There is only one of those ten interviews that has any mention of the upcoming witness. Only one. And that person, their testimony about the upcoming witnesses is limited to this, that the person was district secretary in 1978 and presided over meetings attended by the commune chiefs. That is the sum total of the evidence relating to the upcoming witness in these interviews that were recently disclosed. That information, I would note, is well known to everyone. It is something that has been testified by numerous other witnesses who are part of the case file. So our first position, Your Honor, is that it's essential that these matters be decided based on a showing of good cause, a showing of specific information. There is no reason to delay this witness. Uh, in our submission, there's no reason to delay any Tramcock witnesses. There is nothing in any of these new interviews uh, that warrants a delay in hearing further uh, Tramcock testimony. Um, so something is clear. Uh, the statements that were delivered uh, today were not new statements. These were additional translations. Uh, what has happened is because the defense doesn't have electronic access uh, to, the, uh, to these records, um, when new, state, when new uh, uh, translations of the interviews already disclosed are posted, they don't have access to the new translations. Uh, so what they received today were not new interviews. These were just additional uh, new translations of previously disclosed interviews. Um, last uh, 
most of the argument I've heard is based on a general complaint about the number of statements. Let me just say this. Uh, case file 2 uh, involves over 20,000 documents. It is a large case file. Nunche has counsel last week when they were listing documents for a single witness that they suggested they were going to use in half a day of questioning listed more documents than the number of interviews we're talking about here. They had a break. You gave them a number of days. They say it's not enough. I can't comment on that. All I can say is they need to divide these interviews up um, amongst the team and I would think that they would have had sufficient time. In the prosecution's office, we're not only obliged to read these interviews. While we're doing this trial, we have to read all interviews that come in on cases three or four. We then have to identify what issues they relate to. Then we have to file motions and go through that whole process ourselves and do summaries of them. At the same time as we are doing uh, an appeal response. So I, I understand, all of us here understand the demands of, of these trials. But from our perspective, there is simply no, no good cause here to delay uh, the testimony of these upcoming witnesses. Uh, President, you may proceed. Uh, International colleague lawyer. Thank you, Mr. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Quelques courtes observations pour vous indiquer que de notre côté nous sommes prêts à euh, entendre les témoins euh, 803 que nous nous en remettons donc à la sagesse de la Chambre quant à la requête de la Défense. Cela étant dit, nous sommes nous aussi face à des difficultés pratiques réelles et nous serions prêts à discuter de ces difficultés pratiques, soit à l'oral à l'occasion d'un trial management meeting, soit par écrit en réponse à la requête de Nunchea, les difficultés pratiques que nous, euh, auxquelles nous faisons face sont notamment liées aux conditions extrêmement strictes d'utilisation des documents qui rendent impossible un travail correct d'étude de ces documents. Nous ne pouvons pas les photocopier, nous ne pouvons pas les, nous ne pouvons pas les prendre avec nous le soir ou le week-end pour travailler dessus. Nos stagiaires ne, pe ne peuvent pas travailler dessus. C'est absolument impossible, vraiment impossible. Donc si nous avons une requête, euh, c'est véritablement que nous puissions discuter des conditions d'utilisation de ces documents qui rendent leur étude particulièrement ardue pour la défense et pour nous-mêmes également. President, thank you very much. Uh, you may proceed, uh, Victor Coupe. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, the remarks of the prosecution would actually force me to go back to the bigger picture, but obviously we don't have time, so I regret his remarks. Um, because uh, it, it, it doesn't give the whole picture as we see it. But bottom line, uh, Mr. President, um, we just can't do it. That's it. We have no capacity uh, to be able to process them in such a way that is uh, responsible and is within the realms of an effective defense. Um, I think we mentioned in our uh, motion, the prosecution comes here with six different prosecutors uh, doing the examination. I'm here by myself. I have simply no time to read those documents, all of them, in such a way that I find it responsible uh, to go on with a witness in a leading position. Um, as an alternative, we offered, let's uh, uh, have a broader discussion. Let's not go with this uh, witness tomorrow. Let's find an alternative. That's why we uh, we send uh, a courtesy copy, so to have this uh, discussion today. Uh, we've never said in the last two years that we weren't able to do something, but this is the first time.
Thank you for the comments made by parties in relation to the matter raised by the Defense Council. The Chamber will issue a decision or ruling on this matter in due course, in particular, in particular before the hearing of uh, two TCW 803 and 809. The hearing today uh, come to an end, and uh, the hearing will resume tomorrow on the 5th uh, March 2014, 2015, starting from 9 a.m. And uh, the hearing will uh, resume the hearing of a testimony of uh, witness Wan Suen. Personal, personnel, security personnel, you are instructed uh, to bring uh, the two accused back to the detention facility and uh, have them return to the courtroom before 9 a.m. The court is now adjourned.